Again, I'm Mark. And I'm Marlene. And Anita. Yes, welcome, Anita. Yes, we are glad. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we are glad to have Anita with us. Um, you're here tuning in to our session, Awaken with Mark. And what we talk about is the diaspora. Now, the, the diaspora, they are those who are the descendants of the transatlantic slave trade, which means the UK. Um, Australia. believe it or not, yeah, Australia, Canada, a lot of other places, South America, South America, <laughs> and the U.S. Yes. yes, and so we have well an opportunity to expand our horizons, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of movement going on, and some of that movement, well, actually, a majority of the movement, did you know or did you care, is to the motherland, the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. And we're, we've moved, we're glad to be here, glad to have met Anita and others. And so what we wanna do is talk about that because as I mentioned earlier, there's an opportunity to expand our horizons, to expand our perspectives, as they would say in coaching. We wanna expand perspectives. Well, what sometimes tends to happen is we have conversations amongst ourselves in our little communities and we, murmur and we talk and we commiserate <laughs> and we're just talking to ourselves and um i'm gonna be honest with y'all it kind of reminds me of this movie you and i were watching marlene where women are talking to each other about men right. to learn how to interact with men <laughs> when it would help if you just went and talked talk to, to men yes mm -hmm. duh what a concept so um in terms of trying to understand uh, cultures and, and how to get the most out of an experience if you're visiting or if you're moving here as we did and others will be soon doing, we thought we should talk to a local. And so we were having a conversation with our friend, our good friend Anita, and she said, yes, you yes, let me talk. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, all right, so here we are. Hey, Anita, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Anita. And I'm um, uh, Rwandan. Mm. I was born in Uganda, but I grew up in Rwanda. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I studied uh, all my school in Rwanda. Okay. I okay. came from Uganda. I was young. Uh, I'm a Christian um, and I'm a businesswoman. So I made a lot of foreigners. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. 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 You were qualified. Yeah. So you have some things to be telling me. Yeah. Those that are going to be listening to this. <laughs> oh, and since you mentioned uh, Uganda, okay, I want to. Should I be saying Uganda or Uganda? Uganda. Uganda. Thank okay. you, thank, thank you. you. I've had yes. friends already ask me about that. They're thinking about. They have thought about uh, that area. Right. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. isn't that kind of that's happening? I mean, you know. <laughs> Is uh, it sorry, come again? It's it's when I say happening, I mean it's up and coming. It's it's one of the places that's really things are going on. Yeah, yeah. Actually, Uganda things are going on and uh, businesses. Mm. What well, business wise, things move and uh, you know it's uh, it's not much different from Rwanda. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Good to know. That's a good little tidbit right there. Mm. Um, I ain't going to tell all your business, but I do really appreciate and respect the fact that you own your business and, and that's a real thing. So, uh, because a lot of people will wonder about that. And I think it's encouraging for, I don't know, maybe you could speak to this Marlene, but I would think, um, some of the women that we may know in the United States are encouraged by the fact of a woman, woman yes, business owner. Because a lot of women are you know, thinking either now or maybe as they get further on in their career and want to do something different, 
they all have a lot of ideas. They've talked about it for years of maybe doing a, a you know, a lot of women like helping women that are going to get married, so they're going to help the plan. So, you know, or they, they have um, a, a business of oils or, you know, various things the women do talk about that they're interested in. So it's good to know that you come here and you be able to have your own business, start your own thing. So. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, I just wanted to say it's uh, it's even more motivating to come in Rwanda or East Africa mm -hmm. to as a woman to have your own business because <clears throat> the, we are supported by gender balance, so we are like motivated. Oh, okay. Yeah. You are supported by gender balance. Yes. What is gender balance? You know, gender balance, before, in the years that I don't know, mm -hmm. women were not allowed to work. Oh, oh. Gotcha. even yeah. in East Africa? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. I did not know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So right now, we are motivated. We are allowed. We can mm -hmm. go out. You can be creative and wow, have your own good. business. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, that's definitely a shift in mindset because I guess coming from a Western culture, we're just, we, we take things for granted. Yeah, yeah. And I, I guess maybe we ought not to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You mentioned um, East Africa. And one thing that I've heard, tell me, am I seeing this correctly or tell me how to adjust? In terms of East Africa and West Africa, what generally talk about the culture of East Africa. And I'll tell you why I ask, because before coming, there's uh, a YouTuber that we watched and she even had a consultation with us one-on-one -on -one with our family by telephone. She lives in Houston. She's married to someone from Tanzania. And um, she was saying that, so African-Americans are, yeah, from the US, we tend to lean toward being more similar to West Africans than East Africans. And so I was wondering about the differences and things like that. Yeah, the difference is um, I've, I've, uh, I've met people from West Africa and uh, obviously I'm from East Africa. Mm -hmm. The difference is they, their, I mean, the character, the behavior mm -hmm. is much similar to the Americans okay. than the East Africans. If East Africans, we tend to be so uh, cultural. I don't understand what you mean, Cult. I mean, our courage tends to be oh, okay, to mm -hmm. take us. Uh, I mean, we tend to like be more courageous than uh, West Africans. Where well, West Africans are even countries we don't have courage. They just adopt uh, white, white courage. Americans, you know, oh, they okay. just adopt other courages. I see. Whereas we East Africans, we have our courage. Gotcha. And we. Wherever we go, we go with them. Oh, okay. so you okay. stay more we to how you stay more to carry yeah, yeah, than gotcha. in West Africans. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 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 And you say that uh, we coming from like the U.S., for example, or UK or whatever, we're more similar to that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Because they tend to adapt your character than. They're they're all <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay we've we've seen that <laughs> especially certain movies or things we watch but we yeah. haven't been to West Africa yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> and a shout out to um, my friend Jackie we interviewed her remember Marlene yes. from uh, Ghana yes. as a matter of fact and uh, so uh, you don't know her Jackie is someone I work with and we sat next to each other um, in Washington D.C. For many years, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so, hey, Jackie, hope you get to see this. Anyway, going to talk to you again, too, as a matter of yeah. fact. So what kind of behaviors have you observed that, uh, let's be honest, they're on the tip of your tongue, they're on the front of your mind, and say, you know what, I need to get this off my chest. <laughs> um, the kind of behaviors, um, uh, like when they come, people come mm -hmm. from uh, foreigners come, 
uh -huh. from either West Africa or America because mm -hmm. you tend to have uh, the same behaviors. Mm -hmm. So you tend to, um, you want the same speed you have. Oh, the okay. same speed, okay. okay. Of your behavior, like, okay. I mean, if I come and talk to you, you want me to respond immediately. Whereas in my culture, there are things that I don't say, that I don't talk to a stranger. Okay. There are oh. things that I limit myself talking to in public. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, so you're more private. Yeah, we are more private. Mm -hmm than you guys and mm -hmm. you are open your life is open free <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whereas us, yeah. you know you see someone talking to you and in your mind deep there saying ah, is this guy even good to me is he even going to be a good friend <laughs> you know we have doubts uh-huh we have doubts okay. well yeah. you guys you come here and you just adapt yourself to <laughs> it wow yeah so we okay. the speed you have and the 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 way you open is mm -hmm. not the way we open okay yeah oh, okay and it's not the way we are free to be friends to anyone okay okay yeah yeah it's uh some people get it easily mm -hmm. i mean they adapt easily right yeah. but um high popularity is we are to uh, we keep our things to ourselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why do you, um, <clears throat> why do you think that that might be? And you know what? Um, the cameras are rolling. Whatever they're doing is what they're doing. But we're having a conversation mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and we've talked before. And if you say no, I don't feel like dealing with that, or however you should say, mm -hmm. if I'm not astute enough, or if we don't. You know, you could shut it down and just say, yeah, I'm not going to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But why, why do you think um, that might that might be? Why? why okay, let, let me put it like this. So my wife, Marlene, she allowed uh, me to do father and son trips. Mm -hmm. All right. So and you've met our sons. You've met two of them. You know yeah. them or whatever. Yeah. And uh, so we got two back home. All right. And the youngest here that you have met, Daniel and I, she allowed us to go to Japan. So that was his choice, where he wanted to go. So in an Asian culture, they seem to be uh, very uh, reserved. And I, I'm thinking to what you're describing also. And so I find that intriguing. Could you say more about why you may think that Rwandans or even Ugandan, Ugandans, the East Africans are like that? Uh, why they are reserved, I don't know. It's a culture based thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I can't really know why, mm -hmm. but we find that thing in ourselves in common. That okay. something we have in common. Yeah. Yeah. We are more reserved than not that we are not open. Mm -hmm. It's not that we don't talk to people or we don't welcome people. Mm -hmm. But there's that one thing that we have, mm -hmm. we, that we, I mean, we, we it's not uh, a bad thing. Right. Mm -hmm. No, it's not it just a, is. Yeah. It's just something, a character that I uh, would, uh, people have mm -hmm. in common. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. And, and, I, and I hear what you're saying, because even in, in the States, can be somewhat different too. Yeah. You have people that are like in the southern areas, maybe in, I don't know, Atlanta, Alabama, different areas. They might be real boisterous and loud and things like that. And, and maybe in, in the northern part, maybe in Maine or other parts of the states, they're different. So I know we do have different ways people, you know, some people talk faster than others and some people yeah, are yeah, slow. Yeah. So it, it is different somewhat in the states. Um, so yeah. somewhat I can see what you're saying, you know. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think about folks from the Northeast mm -hmm. United States, mm -hmm. New York, for example, yeah. or something like that. They may talk so fast. I've got a friend, uh, shout out to Scott. And I, I, sometimes I've got to say, I can't hear that fast. <laughs> 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 you know, I talk slower. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. um, so, all right, you're starting to talk about things that help us um, to prepare to come here. What other thoughts 
do you have in terms of how we can prepare mm -hmm. to to come to East Africa if that's where somebody's coming? Um, what I can uh, tell you is uh, sometimes people just came and they're not expecting people like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So come prepared. Like mm -hmm. you may meet the person who is not preserved, is so open like you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you should know that uh, there is even someone there where you haven't met, but you will meet them. They, they, they don't. I mean, they're not. They're so reserved. Mm -hmm. They don't want to talk to someone and they don't want to like talk in English, too much English, okay. <laughs> because uh, English is not our mother tongue. Yeah, yeah, okay, and, sure. And uh, um, another thing is uh, if you talk to someone in English and they don't really understand mm -hmm. you, they think you're giving them hard time. Oh. Really? Hmm. Not... Mm -hmm. Popular, but he, oh, yeah. but I don't. They speak. even they even ask, what am I going to say? Okay, okay, yeah. but you you said they might even think that we're giving them a hard time. That's not. Yeah, your that's not your intention. No. But because they know they don't know this English, mm -hmm. and you. There is no any other language they can communicate. <laughs> that's what the, that's what is on their mind. But we can't change anything. You have to communicate. I mean, it's uh, like pushing them to like say something mm -hmm. yeah, when they yeah. don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. So it's uh, a bit challenging. Yeah, yeah. It. It's a challenge to you oh, yeah. and yeah. to the uh, to the locals, locals yeah. Yeah. because yeah. they can't say exactly what you want to hear, right. and you can't really get um, what they are saying. Yeah, and okay. you can you can you're not like communicating. <laughs> yeah, so it's a challenge mm -hmm. on both sides, but you have to be ready to face this challenge. You are so right. You have described what happened yesterday. So, Marlene, you have sent me uh, up to the corner to get some butter. And uh, we had gotten some more of the water jugs. Uh, I call them the big, we call them five gallon. I guess they're 19 point something liter. Okay, the big jugs. Anyway, so I was trying to get some butter. And so I would say butter. Wait, wait a minute, let me back up. Okay, so no, I do not know Kenya Wanda. That is the, the language here, okay? And uh, we gonna get back to this, but that's a little, that's a challenging language, okay? Let's not even, let's get that yeah, on the is, table. It it's is, challenging. It's so it's, challenging. So, and I got Google Translate on my phone. I've been in other countries before, whip that thing out. <laughs> my Google Translate had trouble, has trouble with Kenya Wanda, yeah. okay? Yeah. And so the young lady came out and I was saying butter, and she took me to the liquor, right? She was so show me some, I don't know, Jim Bean somebody. And, and I was like, no, 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 no. I was the butter. So I, I thought in my corner of my eye, I had seen something on the shelf. And I said, come back, come back. And so I pointed, and I said, oh, that's it. And I went ahead and took a picture of it, kind of knowing that wasn't the, the type you wanted. Mm -hmm. But I was trying to say to her, that's what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. is butter. Mm -hmm. And she kind of looked at me, and I looked at her. <laughs> And, and you don't know what to say. She I doesn't don't. know what to say. Yeah. Yes, yeah. you were there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you say prepare, when you're coming here or as any other place, but we're here, we should try to learn the language. Is that what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> I would think, but is that, is that I would what say <laughs> try to learn the language. Yeah. I would say try to learn the language, but yeah. also. I would say, don't get upset. Right. Yeah. Don't yeah. get upset when you meet someone who mm -hmm. doesn't know no, your language. language. Yes. Yeah. It's also a challenge to them because they don't know your language. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, uh, I may say there are people who never went to school. 
Right. And they sure. own their businesses out there. Yeah. And where we need this service, oh. a small service we need in their business. And they never went to school. Oh, okay. Okay. So they are struggling to communicate to you oh. and you are struggling. So mm -hmm. thank you. You don't be patient. I okay. mean, you have to be patient. Right. Don't get upset. Right. Because this is the only way you get things right. Mm -hmm. This is the only way you get to learn a word in okay. Kinyaranda. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Well, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Because like I know we we've, we've tried to communicate, and like you say, we need to we <laughs> yeah. need to learn the language. But I think if we think of it, it's like if you're if we're in the states and you come there and you're speaking your language, you're still, I know you're going to have a struggle too. Mm -hmm. And so we should we should see both sides. Yeah, and a lot exactly. of times we don't exactly. see both sides. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And exactly. there seems to be embedded in us, Marlene, and mm -hmm. in our culture. Things that uh, Anita was saying earlier, mm -hmm. like going fast, yes. the speed, mm -hmm. which causes us to maybe get a little frustrated. Right. And yeah, so we, it, it's almost like there's this um, double challenge for yes, us. Yes, it's double challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, yeah. And, I, and I, we've always said there's a saying they've said in the States for years everybody wants a microwave situation mm -hmm. you know you want it done like if you were going to make a chicken you put it in the oven and maybe it would cook an hour or something mm -hmm. in the microwave it might cook for 15 minutes but in the states everybody wants everything they're moving so fast, fast. so fast so fast yeah, exactly. and so like you say when they come amongst other people they expect them to be that way with it and they don't seem they don't look to know i have to adjust exactly <laughs> okay. yeah exactly yeah. and uh, they tend to say that oh, randoms you're too slow in everything like, really yeah um well i've met people who uh who mm -hmm. say that mm -hmm. and i myself i know we are not at a level yeah of people from america they mm -hmm. want everything yeah. done right <laughs> yesterday there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and yeah. we are not yet there yeah so yeah. but there are some words which are insulting some of us want that to be you know, like yeah. Americans, they we want things to move fast. I see. So when you come and say, ah, Randans, you're too slow, you know, because maybe you went in a shop mm -hmm. and there are two, three, four clients mm -hmm. and you're not being served mm -hmm. the way you want to be served. Mm -hmm. And then you say, ah, Randans, you're too slow. You you don't work so fast. Mm -hmm. It's... um. It's an insult to okay. the people who like uh, we're yeah, serving you yes. because if it's a show and you're not the only one there, right. so you have to be patient. That's mm -hmm. what we have. That's what we can. Mm -hmm. We want to be at your stage, mm -hmm. at your level, but we're not yet there. Right. Yeah. Right. You want to be at our stage, at our level. However, let me put words in your mouth. I bet you don't want to be at our stage and level with the baggage that comes with it. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. for example, yeah, exactly. I'm on. Okay, so as a black male, at one point in time in my life, I had to deal with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, mm -hmm. and just I, I had one doctor I was sitting in her office remembering Laurel mm -hmm. Marley mm -hmm. down at that clinic you found yeah. and I'm sitting there and so um I was waiting on her in the waiting uh in the not the waiting room but where they examination room mm -hmm. and so I think I took out my phone and started reading a Kindle book or something <laughs> and she said uh, something about um have you been feeling um depressed or something and I was like Am I giving off signals or something that I, it just took me back. Yeah. And it's just the work, you know what I'm saying? It's just the yeah. stuff on top of stuff yeah. on top of stuff. Yeah. And I often say it's like a goldfish in the water. Mm -hmm. If you tried to explain water to the goldfish, it really wouldn't, forget the, it, it can speak, okay? Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't understand you because the, the water is around it all the time. Mm -hmm. And it becomes invisible to it. Right. And okay. so um, this is going to be interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. well, it's going to be interesting. Also, from y'all's point of view, you said you, I guess you want the 
productivity, mm -hmm. the the um, efficiency, the the systems, the processes in place. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't want the baggage to come with it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. So, what's uh, what's a good way to attempt to connect with people and and to know them? Um, basically, I would say the good way is come with the, you know. I mean, uh, I want to say that you come down to earth. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good because, way to put it. Yeah, uh, because when you come th up there, mm -hmm. people will be scared. Oh, yeah, okay. they'll be scared. But when you come and you want to, you're so down to earth, mm -hmm. yeah, people are even open there. So they'll be social to you. Mm -hmm. They'll be like, want to learn, and you also learn from them yeah they'll be social they'll be like open to you because you're not uh, at a high standard you're at your lowest standard yeah. okay so they want to so socialize with you uh they get to know you better and you get to know them better and then you can communicate you learn from them and they learn from you Wow. So, um, I mean, it seems simplistic, but what I hear you saying is that folks really do want to learn from us here mm -hmm. yeah. in East yeah. Africa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Wow. Good are, to know. Are yeah. there like um, groups or organizations that we could tap into to, to help us to navigate through? You know, being here. Oh, groups and organizations. I don't really know. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, um, social groups? For example, um, are there? How can I put it? I know there's the the basketball team here, mm. so I guess. Um, that gives us a chance to rub elbows with people who might like sports mm -hmm. or there's the golf um, Course, I don't play golf, but I've been on the course yeah. and mm -hmm. gotten to meet people as a matter mm -hmm. of fact That was fun um, I don't know if there's bowling leagues uh, Do you all bowl and or the activities that people yeah. do together. I know they have soccer. Have soccer so yes, we yes. Have so we have mm -hmm. soccer, we have cricket. We have, right. uh, oh, cricket, basketball. yes, basketball. yes. Yeah, yes. And, uh, and also, gen uh, the, uh, in general, the whole country does what we call umganda. It's a general, like, get-together cleaning and uh, with your neighborhood. Okay. So you get to meet somewhere. Okay. They get to know you. You get to know them. And you get to know who is the head of this cell or the oh, sector. Okay. Or, you know, they get to know you. Uh, it's normally done. Uh, Omuganda is normally done every last Saturday of the month. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, they announce. Sometimes mm -hmm. it changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they announce. It, that Saturday, there is uh, also car free day mm -hmm. where you go and uh, work out with everyone. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, normally a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are social activities which can oh, make okay. you meet Okay. That um, okay. The cleanup day, Umbaganda. Umuganda. Umuganda. Okay. I have um, I've actually asked the neighbor um, uh, John across the street about mm -hmm. that, and he said no, we haven't done anything yet, and I haven't seen people out. Uh, maybe don't... he came during the lockdown. Yes. Yeah. 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 So from that. Yeah, time. okay, good point. So it's yeah. Different it's, now because it's of that. different okay. now because of the lockdown. Okay. And after the lockdown there was Chogam, so it wasn't quite mm -hmm. cool. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not the the timing was a right, little bit off. Right. But those things that you mentioned, those are excellent mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Yeah. So you the cleanup day, mm -hmm. usually the fourth Saturday of the month, last Saturday. Mm -hmm. And the um 
the okay. car free day. Is it um, like a Sunday? Is it like the beginning? Normally Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't really remember. But they announced you would see. Oh, I've gotten things on my phone. Yeah, I remember yeah. that was a few we, weeks ago, didn't we? We, we heard about it. Yeah, yeah. we received mm -hmm. messages mm -hmm. on the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they tell you it's car free day. Mm -hmm. The whole streets are blocked. Okay. Then it's no driving. Right. It's just a walking, running, mm -hmm. bicycles, every uh, sports okay. activity. Oh, yeah. okay. Speaking of um, all those activities you've listed, it seems to me, especially here in Rhonda, that folks are really active. Um, they exercise and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's it, yeah. it's really something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we actually exercise. Um, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Because I'm sure everyone, no, from the people that I know, mm -hmm. even my family, we really want to live healthy. Yes. Living healthy is one, and it's a, that go, one thing that goes with exercising. Mm -hmm. So we tend to exercise a lot. Mm -hmm. If you've noticed, our uh, randoms, I'll tell you, uh, you would see a 50, 60 year old guy mm -hmm. and they look 40. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So they consider healthy a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people say, ah, Randis, you don't get fat. You don't get yeah. so big. But we do. We just love to maintain. Yeah. 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 But I, I think people might say that because. Maybe they're coming from the states because in the state, states, it's a total different setup, mm -hmm. and it depends on where you live. Mm -hmm. Like we, before we came here, we lived in California. Mm -hmm. They're very health conscious. They're very, they're, your fruits, your vegetables, mm -hmm. eat good. They don't eat a lot of fat, you know. And so you're seeing them walking, running, bike riding all the time. So it all depends on where you're living. Mm -hmm. But I think because of the states, it's such a, it's a fast, 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 and everybody just. You have a lot of what we call Rather fast food. Pizza. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of those, and so they're more larger there than we would see here. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I so, like the way you spell yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and that's one thing we have noticed since we've been here. I mean, I you don't really. I mean, it's rare that I see someone that's got a little weight on them. It's that you, you can tell they're 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 looking pretty good. It's so sad where we came from because <laughs> yeah. uh, somebody has mentioned that. They moved, they increased what the definition of fat or oh, obesity that's right. is. That's right. And they made it heavier. Mm -hmm. And they call it that normal because yeah. we're weighing more. Yeah. 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 And I think it's kind of bad because what happens if, say, if you're a person that's trying to get to a, a, a smaller weight, and, the, and you might be at a larger weight, but it's almost like they've changed it so much that the weight that you're at that's larger, mm -hmm. they say it's normal. And you're like, wait a minute. So it's kind of, every so many years, they change things so much in the States, you can't keep up. So yeah, you got to do what's right for your yeah, body. <laughs> what you like yes. what's right for your body. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. And I guess um, another thing I was uh, um, thinking about, and like you were saying, how you're, reserved here and how the West is different. Are there any questions or things that maybe we shouldn't ask that are maybe off limits that are like, no, um, you shouldn't ask that question. <laughs> no, there are no specific questions. Okay. But um, it depends. It depends. Okay. You know, like if uh, someone came to me and uh, recently I met some someone mm -hmm. on the street mm -hmm. and they said hi how are you uh, I just was greeting yeah. because he passed by mm -hmm. and then he said how how are you do you work here I said yeah I work here mm -hmm. oh he said I am your client <laughs> and then he said how old are you <laughs> I mean I was shocked Shocked, and I'm the one who said hi uh -huh. in the first place. Uh -huh. And then, how old 
why why would you ask me my so age? That's, so okay. that's a question that you did because see in the states the women are like you don't ask a woman her age. Exactly. <laughs> that's you in the world is what I'm like. In the world you don't do that. Everybody, I bet you. Hey, wait. I bet you if if I was in Singapore or someplace, don't don't speak the the, the language. And I said, they would how, how old are you? I bet you she'd slap me and understood every word I said. <laughs> yes, I did answer. That might be right. I did answer. Yes. But you, I, told him? It, you told him? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> no, I couldn't. I immediately asked ask him, where do you come from? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're asking me how old am I, uh -huh. like we've just talked, you've yeah. never been seen me before. Right. It's the first time. Where do you come from? Yeah, but I mean, he told me he comes from Nigeria. I come from Nigeria. Uh, uh -huh. So I said, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything added up. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, yeah. I get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's, yeah. So that's, so that's it cool. depends to how you talk to someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can ask me any question because mm -hmm. we are close. Mm -hmm. But it's not anyone that you can, you right. can ask that yeah. same question. So it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was uh, you, mm -hmm. I would have told you immediately because yeah. we know, we each, know other. each other. Yes. You know, we've talked before, we've mm -hmm. met before. Mm -hmm. I would have immediately told you my age, but I was like, you just pass it someone yeah, on the street. They just ask yeah. You that. yeah okay. Because mm -hmm. I mean, I think why he asked it was because uh, he saw he was he's my client. Right. Yeah, and you did yeah, say I that. I mm -hmm. noticed. Mm -hmm. So he was curious. I yeah. the business, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then he was curious. How old are you yeah. two? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got oh you. okay. All right. Yeah. Way so sometimes you have to me. put it in context or how yeah. you know why would he be asking oh okay because yeah. i have this business he's yeah, like oh, exactly. are you too young you're kind of young or you're kind of you know you got a business exactly. so, he might be yeah. yeah saying you're very successful yes. moving doing mm -hmm. moving and grooving mm -hmm. okay okay yeah but the way he came across came across yeah and yeah just post the question. It was yeah. weird. That was a good one. Thank you. <laughs> so, do you have any? Uh, do you have another story? Just curious. Uh, that was. Thank you. Uh, no, okay. uh, I don't really have much stories because I tend to adapt myself to your behaviors. Oh, so, okay. Another story is uh, how people struggle to like communicate, and. Uh, they get they ask me where did you go to school oh okay yeah but i tell them i studied all throughout yes. my primary secondary school mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i have uh, university was in london okay. They, say, okay they can't believe it they can't believe it they say ah no most of the people we meet they can't speak in english oh my goodness i tell them i don't know english i'm yeah. trying yeah i'm mm -hmm. trying to mm -hmm. speak english mm -hmm. But because you've met a person who cannot speak English, oh, it yeah. doesn't mean in that country there are no English. Right, I see mm -hmm. what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. yeah. Mm -hmm. maybe you've met someone who never went to school, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there are people who even don't know Kinyarwanda and they're Rwandans. Excuse me? Yeah. I mean, I heard you. Yeah. I just need to digest yeah. that. Yeah, so what are they... there are people who don't know Kinyaranda. Are you speaking French? Rundance. No, no, I know what she means. No. No, what? I know, help me. Well, let, let me let me give another scenario. Yeah. When we were, lived in California, I had friends of mine that were Mexican. Mm -hmm. And what friend of mine, her whole family spoke Spanish, but she didn't. And I was like, how can you live in a household and mm -hmm. not speak Spanish? Mm -hmm. But I've known it. I've known, She's not the only one I've known. Is that the same kind of way? Yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> and I never understood oh. that. I'm like, how can you? Okay. That's your culture. Yeah. But she goes, I just didn't. I didn't want to. I just didn't want to do it when I was growing up. I'm like, I, I couldn't. Yeah, understand yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids you take to school, nursery school, they're English school. Yeah. And they don't want to know about the Isn't culture. Isn't that something? They know, don't yeah. want to know about okay. the language. Wow. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Actually, they speak like English fluent, yes. French fluent, uh -huh, uh -huh, perfect, uh -huh, uh -huh. but their language they don't know. Yes, and that's okay. Something. Yeah, that is. Mm. Yeah, because I probably mm. would have really esteemed folks around here um, because I'm thinking, 
you have culture, you have right. something. Yes, that's yours. And yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. that kind of took me back, I guess, what you shared kind of made me think. Yeah. Yeah, we have culture, we have everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Let, mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you an example mm -hmm. so you understand it well. Mm -hmm. My brother, the one I come after, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He stays in the states. Oh. oh. He married and went. Yeah. He went there. Before. He's been there for fifteen years. Really. Oh. And tell me, mm -hmm. they are married. They are, they have a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me that child if they come to their mm -hmm. culture, uh -huh. mm -hmm. their roots, mm -hmm. they will not know anything. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You, mm -hmm. The behavior will be exactly the American. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't mean that they're Americans. They are still Rwandese. Yeah. yeah. By, yeah. By, 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 by blood. By, by yes, yeah, exactly. By blood. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't know anything about Rwanda oh. because they grew up somewhere else. Oh. So they are, you know, they are kids or their parents mm -hmm. who take their, their children to some schools. Uh -huh. Where there's no uh, local language, mm. they only speak either okay. French or English, and they grew up there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's so he's not necessarily teaching his child the language, even though he he knows the language. Yeah, but he he's, knows yeah, the but language. He's not teaching. But even yeah. if you teach the child, uh -huh. I mean. This kid will go to school. Yeah, that's true. They You're will right. adopt other behaviors. Yeah. They will do. I mean, even if you do it at home, yeah. it will not be as much right. as when they're in the country. Yeah, yeah. and I and I see what you're saying. What's totally different in what you're saying? Say you're in the states and your I'll go back again to being Mexican, mm. and your child is you teach your child mm. Spanish. But you may have more people in your environment that speaks that language. Exactly. Whereas even though the child has the father, that's all the child has. It doesn't have anyone, anyone else in the, else community. In the community. So they're only going to speak mm -hmm. the English. I see what you're mm -hmm. saying. Okay. Yeah. Are there any do's and don'ts that you would like to share with the audience mm -hmm. uh, who would come to mm -hmm. East Africa? Okay, uh, many don'ts will go to West Africans, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw things on the streets. Yes, Woo, big no-no here. Big very no, clean no. here. It's clean, yes. yes very clean. And uh, do's is uh, the normal. Uh, go to people. Don't don't be discouraged okay. because of the language barrier. Okay. Mm -hmm. You you have to you need to go to people, mm -hmm. know your neighbors. Um, you don't have to, but it it is easier. It makes life yeah. your life easier mm -hmm. in, in a new no, country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, don't what this criminal is uh, a big no in this okay. country. Uh -huh. It doesn't That's mean we're a criminal, like uh, you get someone, you just slap them, or uh, mm, like uh, South Africans, rape is at a level that I can't oh. explain. Really? Oh. South Africans, uh, oh. criminal is at... Uh, that's high, what I high. read. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I've never been there. Okay. okay. But that's what I read. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> do whatever is possible to stay away from prison. Mm -hmm. Because right. prison in this country is just a blink on of an, an, of an eye. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Wow. Those are good to know. Yes. Wow. So you are, talked about the language. So that is mm -hmm. that is important because, like you say, if you don't know, it's hard to mm -hmm. communicate. Mm -hmm. So we got to work on that. Being patient and yes, yeah. <laughs> we've seen that. Yeah, so. yeah. Being patient, <laughs> being patient mm -hmm. is the key. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to remember it's a, a double challenge. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Uh, 
at all. Uh, it, I mentioned criminal, mm -hmm. yeah. but it doesn't mean we are in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> something may happen to you. Yeah. No. yeah. Don't say, I said there is no criminals in this country. They do happen. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah. they are really punished. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm wondering um, if you have a comment. If not, it's okay. We um, took the opinion of detoxing mm -hmm. or sitting still when we got here, meaning we weren't trying to for the first six months, four to six months, uh, really rush out and dive into anything. Just want to sit down um, because um, it's kind of like uh, this aroma that we, we have coming from the US. Mm -hmm. And we need to give it time to just really detox and uh, I'm not sure what the word is, but to leave us. <laughs> as as and is it's it's hard to get so many decades of something off of you, mm -hmm. but I almost feel like um, this is the interview with you. But I would just like to offer, and if you have a comment about that, I just think it's helpful to sit still, sit down, like my mom says, like my mama says, just sit down for a while mm -hmm. and be quiet. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be months and let it and let the things of the speed of of New York, the the way we are in Chicago and <laughs> the D.C. and the southern this and that and L.A. It's like let it just evaporate off of you a little bit. Yeah, that I would just say welcome to Rwanda. It humbles you down. Mm. <laughs> you have to take a few months <laughs> to humble yourself down. Wow. Yeah. Because I mean, if I if you come with your speed and you want to go, uh, you want to be involved in everything, mm -hmm. you may find yourself have committed something that you shouldn't have done. Uh -huh. So you let the pressure cool down, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, go to the with the uh, with the levels of. Uh, whatever you want to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would say some people do tenders, tendering for a business, tendering for, so it, it's, uh, it's not just like you, you would be, you would want to be responded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today you will submit something and they'll respond after a week. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, whereas in your country, maybe you submit and it's automatic and... Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, you have to first meditate, I would say. Yeah. Meditate uh -huh. when, where <laughs> you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's a... Uh, welcome to Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah. And like he was saying, to come here and detox and, and, and Max, and we were just getting to know... <laughs> It's a whole different environment. Like you said, it's a whole new culture. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the areas that um, we trying to walk into and get used to is the foods oh, the that, are, that are different. You know, we knew it was going to be that way. Mm -hmm. But then when you come here, you know, it's like, uh, I'm, I'll give you one tip. When we moved to California, a certain area we were in, we were used to eating a certain type of pizza. Mm -hmm. And we found we couldn't find <laughs> couldn't find that too much there. We did find some, but just we were thinking, well, maybe we could, you know, find some other types, you know. And so, but then coming here, it's like trying to find a different hold on, hold on, form. Yes, folks, she just she <laughs> did just say that we did not find good pizza in Los Angeles. And yes, I'm co-signing that. And I'm coming from Chi Town area and the East Coast, the DMV with Lido's and all the good ones. Oh. But carry on, tell your story. <laughs> I just so, want to clear. It yeah. Up. So coming here is like you know, like I say, we knew the food was going to be different, but it's a mindset of coming here saying, okay, you know the food's going to be different, 
but you don't know it till you get here. And you're like, oh, okay, what is that? And that's the whole thing of knowing the culture and the language mm -hmm. because some of the foods they talk about, it's not, it doesn't go back to what ours is. You can't say, okay, this food and that food, that's not the same. So, so the food. The food, <laughs> the food. The food is totally different. Yes. Mm -hmm. Totally different. And, is it, and how would you say? Um, <laughs> um, our food, uh, like, is so. How would I say it? It's so local. Okay. Too local for. Oh. Too local for someone from another country. <laughs> wow, that's deep. That's, that's yeah, 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 yeah. I it's like that. Sad, the way yeah. you describe that. Yeah. It's too local for a foreigner. Because, uh, by like huh? we say East Africans, we have some common foods. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have some common foods. Even West Africans, there's uh, what they say, ugali. Mm, right, Kaunga, right. Yeah. Um, something. So a few foods are common mm -hmm. uh, than uh, people from the yeah. states. So it's a big struggle. But I would advise. I I would say try to test. Try to test yeah. yeah, we got to explore things. Yeah, yeah, we've been no, doing no. that more and more. But I know one thing that you do have here that I love with a lot of your meals is avocados. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love yeah. avocados. So yeah. when oh, we first goodness. came here, because we had some other friends that were here before we mm -hmm. came, and when they would do meals, and some of the meals was a mix of, you know, the States and Rhonda, and I was like, they would do avocado or they would do other things. I'm like, oh, man, now we have an avocado. Or we'd have certain potatoes that were different than our potatoes, but they were good, you know, and so that I like, and then plantain, a lot of people did do that, mm -hmm. and a lot of rice, so I knew it was gonna be rice, different types of rice. Yeah, you and you love rice. I love so rice, yeah. so you have different, you know. Um, and I love french fries, y'all do some <laughs> french, french fries, fries here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> chips, as you guys say. Yes, chips, yeah, chips. chips. Yeah. yeah, french fries. Oh, <laughs> uh, but, don't be surprised if you go to Uganda and you don't find French fries. No. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, French fries is actually not local, but what is local is your potato. Yes. Yeah. So there will be so many types. Uh, there will be so many ways they to do the potato. To do yeah. the potato. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So the French fries is really not local, but it is there. Yeah. It is it's everywhere. Yeah, uh -huh. it is. It's it's kind of everywhere. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I would say just try, I mean, get a friend from a uh, local friend mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to show you how to cook like different potatoes, mm -hmm. recipes, uh, different. There's, uh, uh, Tonga. There are two different. There's okay. kaunga for maize. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. There is mm -hmm. also ovogadi for cassava. Oh, we. I think we've had that. Is okay. it like it's white? Is it like mm -hmm. a white, like a what dough? Is... No, the white one is for maize. Oh, okay. 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 For cassava, it's uh, -huh. uh it's a, uh, uh, it's not really white, but uh -huh. grayish. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So they are different. They are yeah, we've so had the other ways. one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. And, and noticing, and I'm, and it's not okay. just this culture. A lot of cultures eat different. Like in the states, they use silverware. Mm -hmm. In Japan and maybe other places, they you know they might use chopsticks or different things. Mm -hmm. um, or is it China? I want to get my places mixed up. But I know oh. here they use they use their fingers more mm -hmm. because they might have bread or certain things that they dip and and they use that more. And so I've, I've seen that yeah, more so. so. Mm -hmm. So yeah. many people. Yeah. Uh, there are people even who eat rice with fingers. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. most of the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, it's a whole different <laughs> thing. Yeah. yeah. But it's been exciting. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. And it's fun, and it becomes an adventure. Yes. Yeah. 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 And we over. and we love trying different foods, so mm -hmm. it's kind of it's working for us. But I do know one thing: they don't necessarily. Or maybe it's just the people we've come in contact with. Eat hot foods? Are there foods, some of your foods that you have spicy or no? No. Not really. Yeah. Not really. Yeah. yeah. Not really. Spices, mm -hmm. you have to add some. 
Mm. Yeah. 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 So okay. take note of that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a friend here, another friend here that loves spices, like peppers and stuff. So he, he puts that on a lot of his food. So. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. he'll have a dish yeah, of peppers too. about the yeah. size of your yeah. purse. <laughs> and that was all for one plate. Yes. He chopped them all oh, up. Oh, he loves and them. He, oh, yes. It's, it's good well, it's for amazing. you. Healthy. It's amazing. And I was like, no, I don't But they so. say peppers are supposed to be good for you, good for yeah. your system and mm -hmm. stuff, so, you know. <laughs> Garlic and you know just certain things that you you find that we do ginger you know but uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this has really been exciting and enlightening. <laughs> we cannot thank you enough yes. to agree to do this. Yes. Um, we're, you're gonna you get the last words, okay? So whatever you want to say, whatever you want to share, go right ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> I can't go without advertising my business. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Okay, let's sit up straight. Let's get go. Okay, <laughs> say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm a businesswoman. I'm um, I'm a butcher. Mm. Beef, goat meat, cow meat, chicken, fish, everything perfect. And uh, the best so far, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've, yeah. Got, and, we've uh, gotten food from there, her from her. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> It's uh, at uh, KG504 and uh, shop number three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the comments section mm -hmm. and write that down. Because mm -hmm. um, that's actually our street. That won't be difficult for me yeah, to put yeah, on there. Yeah. Right, and right. also, any other information you want, I will put it up there on how to reach you or anything like that yeah. um, but it's excellent that you have your own oh, butcher yes, shop and yes. you run that and congratulations yeah thanks and uh, I want to go somewhere far I want to go to a level of exporting mm -hmm. I want yes. to expand like really and have branches in different countries I want to you know I want to be large yes in business -wise. Yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. But step by step. Mm -hmm. uh, that was my dream since I was young. Wow. So now I have a shop. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm sure with God. Mm -hmm. Yes. All things are possible. Yes, yes, yes indeed. Possible. Yeah. 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 There was something I was going to say to you, and I, it kind of <laughs> dropped out of my head. Oh. But anyway, the um, but you are living the dream. Yes. And uh, that's very important to me because... Um, I'm not ashamed to admit that I, I'm a dreamer also, and I believe in people pursuing and acquiring their dreams because I think there is an interconnectedness that God created where we are community and we're dependent on each other. Mm -hmm. Because someone had a, a dream, we have an iPhone that we can record on. Or yours is buzzing even right now. You got an <laughs> but that's because someone had a dream. Right. And during my lifetime, I know what it was like when there were no cell phones mm -hmm. to uh, to call somebody instantly. Mm -hmm. it, it, but because somebody had a dream, now it exists. Right. Now I can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I wish people would really try to, um, and maybe we'll look at that one day in terms of a podcast, but try to look at ways to work together mm -hmm. to help others achieve their dreams because it's a circle. It comes around mm -hmm. and it will benefit one yes. another. So I'm glad you did speak up and, and did say about your butcher shop and your butchery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this has been great. <laughs> yes, indeed. Thank you again. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Okay, let me try. Maracuzzi. Maracuse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. So, well, folks, that's it. And uh, we hope that you like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. We had a great time. Thank you. Thank you.